What is up guys, Minibean75 here, and today I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a different video. This has been requested by a few different people. Basically, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install my Minecraft maps. Um, what I'm going to be doing is going to be the Java and the Bedrock Edition. So the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to go on to the YouTube. And I'm just going to head over to my studio so that I can just see all the different maps. Now to just show you for both... I'm going to go find a map that's older that I know has the Java and the um, Bedrock Edition on it. So let's do, we'll just do WrestleMania 35. That sounds like a good choice. So we've got both downloads available there. And I will be going through and trying to hopefully figure out the Java Edition soon. It's been a while and I kind of just got to the point where I just didn't check it. But So we're going to click the link here. Now, once you get onto AdFly, this is what you're going to do. Mine has a little pop-up that's going to show up here. But that's because I have AdBlock turned on for when I'm on my other computer, and it's just linked to as my extension here. Um, but yeah, so what you're going to do is up here in the top right corner, you just want to wait until it says Skip Ad. Now we're going to click Skip Ad. You're going to hit Allow, and then this is the page that you want. See, because this page is going to take you to the right page. And if it doesn't automatically take you, you can click this link right here and it'll take you there. But here's how you get there. Now, I'm just going to hit download. So here's the Java edition. Now, I'm just going to pop back out quick. And I'm just going to download the Bedrock edition while I'm here. And like I said, up here is where we're going to be waiting. Obviously, I have to hit continue on this. X out of that. Hit continue. And then we can wait the five seconds. Then we're going to hit skip on that ad, click allow, and then now we're back on this page that we want to be on. And then it automatically downloaded, so now I have the Bedrock Edition and then the Java Edition. So now we're just going to minimize this page because those are going to show up in my downloads. Actually, but what I'm going to do, just to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to open that. And I'm actually just going to take the folder and I'm going to copy it over to my desktop. X out of that. And then we're going to do the same thing with the Bedrock version. Just copy and paste that over. There we go. So now we know exactly where both maps are. Now we're going to do the Bedrock edition first. Now I already have a shortcut set up on my desktop. But when I pull it up here, you guys will be able to see... You, I'm just going to uh, pause it here quick, or you can pause it here so you can see that this is what, if you don't know how to get to your maps, this is the file path to get there. So now, like I said, I mean, I already have the shortcut done, so I'm just going to take the Bedrock Edition and copy, move it over to the Minecraft Worlds. So that's already in. So now I'm just going to X out of this, and we're going to open up Minecraft. All right, now that we're in Minecraft, we're just going to hit play. And then we just go through our maps, and it is going to be one of the maps in here. But I don't know where. I have a lot of maps in mind, so it's probably at the bottom, maybe. Somewhere in here. There we go. WrestleMania 35. So now, I'm just going to click on that. And we're just going to let it open up just to know that we're in the right map. And boom. That is the WrestleMania 35 map. So we're just going to exit out of this. We're going to get out of the Bedrock Edition. Now, here is going to be how you do it in the Java Edition. And I don't know why I just opened up the Java because i got to go into the saves. So, same thing. I have the saves already made to a shortcut right here. Now, if you want to see the file path, if you're on Java Edition, here's your file path. Now, I'm just going to take the map, copy it over to saves like that, so we know that it's in there. And now, we'll open up the Java Edition of Minecraft. And I don't ever use Java, so this is typically just the, the version I play. I think a majority of my Java maps, their last version is 112.2, um, but you can go through and you can change it and do whatever. But, just scroll down, there is WrestleMania 35, we're just going to hit play on that, and there we go. So, that is going to be 
how you guys can download and install my maps on the Bedrock Edition or the Java Edition of Minecraft. Now, I obviously, I don't use mobile. Um, like, I have Minecraft for iOS, but I literally never use it. Um, and I don't use Android. I don't use Mac OS. So for those to download them and install them, you're going to have to figure out your own tutorial on how to do it. But this is going to be the way that I that you can do it for my maps if you're on Bedrock or Java Edition. Now, if you play Minecraft on, like, the Xbox, it's super easy to transfer the maps from PC to Xbox or vice versa. But it is going to cost you a little money because you have to get a Minecraft Realm server. Um, but that's how I transfer all of my maps. So... With that, guys, I hope this was a really informative video for you. Um, I planned on it being a little bit better, um, but as you guys, anybody who saw in the community tab, I had to record this. I recorded this video three times already, and every single time there was something wrong. So this is the first time I'm recording this video where hopefully nothing's wrong so I can actually release the video for you. Um, but yeah, so that's how you do it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope it was um, good info for you. Um, I know people have been having some issues downloading my maps, so yeah. With that, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button down below. You have no idea how much it helps me out. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. So every time I upload a video, you are going to be the first person to get that, um, to be able to see that video. And then if you want to help support me, you can take a look at my online store or my Patreon account. Both links are going to be in the description, or you can take a look at my social media accounts. Those links are also going to be in the description. With that, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.